Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying week and weekend head outlook brought to you exclusively by Flyer Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and let's hope we can go flying this weekend. Um, it does look actually as if we've got some decent weather to come for the next few days. Um, even into the weekend, it just gets a little bit breezy across western and southern areas and there may be a few showers in the far west later on. The shower risk does increase though into next week and the potential for a change taking place. Now, if you want to know more about the weather and build your confidence in your own ability to be able to make a prediction, have that confidence that when you leave the airfield and fly somewhere, you're going to be able to fly back based on the forecast, you need to get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. I'm now running these online because obviously we don't want to be meeting all together in the classroom just at the moment. So my next course has booked up so quickly um, that it's full. So I've had to announce another one on Saturday the 6th and 13th of June. So what I'm doing now is running Aviation Weather School over two consecutive Saturday mornings from 9.30 until 12.30. So it's a two-part course effectively. So this one is on Saturday the 6th and the 13th of June. There are four places left on that course. If you'd like one, uh, probably better be be quite quick because as I say they are filling up. Go to weatherschool.co.uk, come down to aviation and uh, my live online course and you'll find all the details that you need to down there. There's also a little video here that I've put together that explains about the course, um, how it works, what we study and uh, as I say it lasts for those two Saturday mornings which means that you do that little bit of weather study in the morning for uh, flying and then you go out and fly in the afternoon perfect setup really isn't it uh, and the feedback from the last one was excellent so uh, that's Saturday the 6th and 13th of June be great to see you there now as far as the forecast goes for today we're generally VFRable through the course of this afternoon bases if there are any 4,000 feet tops at about 7,000 feet decent visibility just a little bit breezy southwest England and across Ireland as well into tomorrow and for Friday it's a decent day again high pressure still in control south to southeasterly flow across most areas now I think there will be a little bit of cloud we're looking at bases probably around 4,000 feet tops at about 7,000 feet brisker winds for the south coast of England southwest England and parts of Wales too um, but still generally it is VFRable all the way some areas will be sunnier other areas may see a little bit of cloud but generally it is fair Saturday, very similar. High pressure off towards the east. I, I can literally hear the whoops of joy now. Uh, high pressure off towards the east. It leaves us with fair conditions, generally VFRable for most. Just a bit breezy though, across southern parts of England with that strong easterly wind. Um, still VFRable though, but just watch out for those gusts. Three to 4,000 foot bases, tops at about 6,000 feet. And then on to Sunday. A little bit of a change Sunday. The potential for some showers just affecting western parts of Scotland, leading to marginal conditions here in those showers. Generally though, for most, it's fair, it's bright, it's dry, there's some decent spells of sunshine around. Basis three to 4,000 feet, tops at about 8,000 feet. And then into next week, well, this is the change I was on about for Monday. It looks like we become marginal across western parts of Ireland on Monday, 2,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. Perhaps marginal to western parts of Scotland. Here we've got bases of around 2,000 feet, tops at 15,000 feet. I think elsewhere, generally it is flyable. Just need to watch that northwestern part of England. And it will be breezier as well with quite a fresh easterly blown, probably at around 15 to 18 knots for most of us. And then for Tuesday, um, still not bad. We've still got high pressure in control through Tuesday across Scotland, Northern Ireland and probably Northern England. So VFRable here, need to watch for some low cloud affecting eastern coast. This front across England and Wales brings some cloud, but also quite a wind. I'm going to say marginal Tuesday because of the strength of the wind. Bases two to 3,000 feet, tops at around 7,000 feet, bits of rain around. And I think that leads to marginal conditions as well across southern parts of Ireland. The wind's probably easterly, 18 to 20 knots, but could be gusting 25 to 30 knots. And very scrappy, quite turbulent air across England and Wales on Tuesday. Now we'll update you on that um, in the uh, update that comes out on Monday. And then for Wednesday, at the moment, and this is a developing story right now, but at the moment we think that for um, Wednesday, we've probably got some bits of cloud affecting eastern coasts of Scotland and eastern coasts of England. 
marginal conditions here with bases of one to two thousand feet and the tops probably at around eight thousand feet further west generally verifiable southern coast of england got to watch for marginal conditions as well but a lot of uncertainty in the forecast for wednesday as i say we'll update you with that uh, on monday but for now make the most of the weekend if you can and get yourself along to aviation weather school online as i say this course now runs over two consecutive saturday weekends the 6th and the 13th of june from 9 30 in the morning till 12 30 so you can get flying in the afternoon i've got these four places available just go to weatherschool.co.uk come down to aviation click on the live online course and you can find out more about it there uh, watch the video fills you in and then book your place down here It'd be great to see you there okay i will leave you with that for now whatever you're doing have a great flying weekend you chummy so and so's enjoy yourselves and uh, keep the sun shining and bye for now